Okay, this tutorial is going to cover a basic HTML or rather HTTP proxy. Uh, now, I've written a disclaimer here. Um, it says, remember, a proxy should not be used for the illegal activity. This tutorial will cover the simplicity of creating a proxy using PHP, as does not cover encourage such illegal activity. So, bear that in mind when you're using this. I am using Google as my example. I'm going to create a, a proxy for Google, and. I don't encourage you to use this in any illegal way at all. Okay, now to start with, um, we're going to use the URL, uh, URL of Google to open as a file. Now, in in PHP, if I was to um, open a file in such way, we would be getting the contents of that file, more or less. Now by saying HTTP um, forward slash forward slash google.co.uk uh, we are getting the contents of the HTML and most simply therefore you could say echo page now you'd think however this stores it as an array it will store parts of the HTML file as an array so if we go on to here and refresh, you can see that we've got an array. So that gives us the clue that we've just created an array. Now, a loop to echo um, elements of an array or to manipulate elements of an array is for each, the for each loop. And that works a bit like this. We say the um, array we're taking and then as each part of the array. So I'm just going to call this part. Okay? And then what we can do there is because it's, this is a loop, we could say echo part. Now that has basically created what you'd think as a proxy. If I refresh, you can see we've got Google up. However, our URL has remained the same. Now we've got a few problems, and I'm going to address these in this tutorial. First of all, the picture's not showing up. Second of all, when I try and search for something, uh, let's say 111, or not 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 I'm gonna click search and it's not found because we're looking for the search um, folder on my web server which is not what I want so what I'm gonna do is I am going to oh there we go okay uh, just close this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna need to use a replace function to manipulate each um, say uh, image or link to make sure we can show it properly. Now to do this, um, you'll see why in a minute, I'm going to have to create a separate variable for my URL here. So I'm going to put this into a variable URL and my file obviously is going to be my URL. So as long as we're echoing out part, uh, you can see that this still works. Okay, so it still works. Now bear in mind this is my proxy, not the actual Google page that I've also got up. You can see the difference here. Okay, now I am going to use the ereg replace function and I'm going to say part equals ereg replace. And if you don't know about this function, um, read up about it or check out my, I think it was my, yeah, my find and replace tutorial. And we're basically going to say what we need to replace here. So, um, so replace this uh, with this, and this is going to be in our part. We want to replace everything in our in each part of our array holding Google's HTML. Okay, so um, now what we're going to do is we are going to find what we need to replace. Now, our image, if we have a look in our main page. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to say view selection source. Now our image source is this. Now what we need it to be is we need the HTML um, we need the, sorry, yeah, we need the uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash blah 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 google.com around here. So we're going to have to take this section of it, or rather this section, I'm going to say this section, I'm going to have to replace this with the um, correct uh, extension for this this file, folder in this file. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 
replace and make sure you're using inverted commas and not these you'll see why in a minute we're going to say image source equals and I'm going to need one of them in there okay so I'm going to replace that with more inverted commas image source equals that and then we're going to concatenate on the end of that the URL now the reason we can't just concatenate this page say if this was still in here is because this is an array and we can't concatenate the whole array on we just want this value here so we're going to concatenate that onto it okay so uh, now what I'm going to do is echo back out my part and we'll test this and run it and I've got a feeling it might not work okay right the reason it hasn't worked is at the moment we've got an immediate um, a speech mark and an ending speech mark. Now this will be taken literally when taken into account with this as well. So what it's really adding is it is adding two speech marks. So what I can do is put this in inverted commas and what that should hopefully do when we refresh in fact no let's just get rid of this and this and keep these in. That would probably be a better way to do it and we can refresh and there's our image. So I've run my run my PHP uh, proxy and I have my image set up here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is manipulate my search bar. So I'm going to search for say test. Um, at the moment we're saying object not found. Now again what we need to do is we need to go into the real Google page um, select all we can from around the search area and view selection source and if we go along until we find the form we have form action equals forward slash search now again we're going to need to change this form action here and we're going to have to replace that with our um, URL so what I'm going to do is because on many pages we might not have um, say I'll show you an example down here we could have form uh, method equals and our method and then action equals so if we're action equals that so if, if we're directly rep replacing form action that won't be found in one so I'm just going to replace the action and that is going to be done by saying part equals ereg replace and then action equals and then we want to replace that with action equals and we want again to concatenate our URL remember this is including this as well and that's going to happen inside our part okay so we can refresh our page have a search for test and mm, 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 okay um, right let's just say that let's give this another try okay so what you really need to do is you need to be fiddling around with the structure of this making sure that you're adapting to the page you're um, creating the proxy for so I've used Google as an example and that's basically how I've done it so I've replaced parts it with con and concatenating the URL on um, to the start of each link so you can do this with standard a href links you can do it with images you can do it with form actions you can do it with just about anything so um, that's how easy it is really to um, create a proxy in PHP okay thanks for watching